Today we're going to have a look at how to make a simple but effective profanity filter for your game. Now I know that profanity filters are pretty easy to get around, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do one. And if you have a look at how Google or Facebook have done it, they literally put every single substitution in their list. So all we're going to do is we're going to get a ban list, we're going to search through it, and we're going to substitute. For the example, I'm just going to use some normal words just so that you can see how it works. But in practice, you go and download one of the ban lists. They're all publicly available. So there's like the YouTube ban list, the Facebook ban list, the Twitch ban list. And so all of these lists just exist. And all you need to do is Google them and you'll find them. So first up to make this example, I have made a ban list here. And the words that I've chosen to ban are going to be home, house and hello. It's just a text file. And that's the same format text file that you'll see in the other band lists. So first of all, I'm going to make my main camera have a solid background. I'm going to create a text mesh pro object and import the essentials. I'll make this canvas an overlay. So actually I'll turn it into a camera, the camera into it and change my distance to 1. I'll change my view to orthographic. Frame it up. I'll make my gizmo smaller. I'm going to grab this text. And using the rect tool, I'm going to put it across here. Center. I'm going to make it black so that you can read it. And maybe we'll just bump the font size up a little bit. I'm then going to grab an input field. And do the same kind of thing. Now that we've done this, what we'll need to do is write a script. I'm going to add a script. And call it profanity filter. Now to do this we're going to need a few extra libraries. We're going to have to add system. We're using string split when we're reading in the text file. We'll need text or regular expressions for the profanity filter. And we'll need Text Mesh Pro for all of the UIs. So the first thing we're going to need is we'll need a couple of variables for references to our UI. We'll need one for a reference to the text object that we put in and one for the input field. And now we'll need a couple of variables for the block list. First of all, we'll need a text file that had those words that we were going to block. And then we're going to need a string that we're going to read all of those names into. I'm going to use serialized fields so that we can see it in the editor, but we're not necessarily going to edit it. Now we're not going to need our update function, but there are two functions we're going to make. We're going to make one function to check the input. This function you're not actually going to need if you use this in your own projects. It's just a function that I'm going to use to demonstrate that it works. And then we'll need our profanity check, which is the one that you can reuse over and over. So with the profanities check, we're going to send it a string, and then it will send back the string that has been checked and replaced, made a substitution for any words that shouldn't be there. I've for now just put a simple return in so that there are no errors in this. So let's go and handle our start function first. The thing here we're going to need to do is we're going to need to read in all of our text asset into the string block list 
so that we have them ready to use. Remember that we need an array up here of our block list and that's why I was getting the error here. Let's do our check input because it's fairly simple. What we're going to do here, we're going to get our input text, we'll put it through the profanity check, put it into the text display and then empty the input field. Of course this won't do anything yet so we need to go in and do our profanity check. So what we'll do here is we'll get a for loop and we'll loop through our string block list and for each word in that list we'll do the check. Now to make this work, you're going to want to use the system.text regular expressions regex. And this is part of the regular expressions library. You can actually do a lot of amazing things with it, but all we're gonna do is just do a word replacement. If you are interested in doing other things, I strongly encourage you to look up this library and see what you can do with it. Double forward slash B is the boundary of the word. I think the way this works is it doesn't matter how long the word is, it'll just put the four asterisks there. That tends to be how most of the filters work that I've seen. I think they do this intentionally so that you can't see how long the word was. The final step is now that you've replaced this bad word if it's there is to put it back into the string so the next time it runs through the check that it already has that word taken out. Just before we go back to Unity, I noticed that I've just forgot one of the brackets so let's add that. And this is it, so let's go back to Unity and give it a test. So I'm going to drag my script over here. I'm going to drop my ban list into the text asset. I'm going to drop my text into the display text and my input field here. And now let's hit play. And you can see the three words that I've banned have gone here. And now we have to do one more step to make this work. We have to go into our input field. We want to go on end edit. Pull our canvas in there. And on the profanity filter, we want to run the check function. Let's give this a test. And you can see it's edited out house. Notice it is case insensitive. And so that's your basic profanity filter at work. All you need to do is grab one of the band lists and then you do a little check against all of those words. Even though it looks like there's a lot of words in that, that list, I found that it you know, doesn't really affect the speed of your game. So it doesn't have that much of an overhead. If you did find this useful, please like, subscribe or comment. It really helps me grow the channel. I hope you enjoy your game development.